What type of environment is best suited for animal cells? Is it isotonic, hypertonic or hypertonic? Let's find out. We are going to place red blood cells in different solutions. The first solution is the isotonic solution. Iso means same. Here the solute concentration of the cell is same as that of the external solution. So the inflow and outflow of water remains the same. So there won't be net movement of water. When RBC is placed in this solution, the cell remains normal without change in the shape. Now we are going to place RBC in hypertonic solution. Hyper means high. The concentration of the external solution is high compared to the solute concentration inside the cell. To understand this, we need to define osmosis. Osmosis is a diffusion of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane from an area of low solute concentration. In this case, low solute concentration inside the cell to an area of high solute concentration, in this case, the external solution. So there will be movement of water from the cell to the external solution. The cell gets shriveled or shrinks. And this is due to X osmosis or X exit of water to the outside solution from the cell. In hypertonic solution, the cell shrinks by the loss of water to the external solution. Now we are going to place RBC in hypertonic solution. In hypertonic solution, the concentration of the cell is high. The solute concentration inside the cell is high compared to the external solution. So water enters into the cell by endosmosis. The cell swells. In the case of animal cell, at a later stage it bursts or undergoes lysis, as you see here. And this is due to endosmosis or entry of water into the cell from the outside hypertonic solution. In conclusion, generally the best environment for an animal cell is the isotonic environment where the cell shape remains normal. Suppose this is a seawater fish. If we are placing this seawater fish in fresh water, what happens? Comment your answer. In what type of environment do plant cells tend to thrive best? Is it isotonic, hypertonic or hypertonic? Let's find out. Here we are going to place plant cell first in an isotonic solution. As we discussed, in isotonic solution, the concentration, the cell solute concentration is same as that of the external solution. Concentration of the external solution. There won't be net movement of water. So the cell remains at a stage of low torture pressure in the case of plant cell. And that state is called as flaccid. A state of low torture pressure is called as flaccid. Now the plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution. Hypertonic solution has high concentration, solute concentration compared to this cell. So water moves out of the cell. The cell shrinks. As you see, the plasma membrane gets detached from the cell wall. And this state is called as plasmolysis. The cell gets plasmalized in hypertonic solution. And the cell shrinks. And this is due to exosmosis or loss of water from the cell to the outside solution. Now the third environment, cell is placed in a hypertonic environment, hypertonic solution. As the concentration of outside solution is less, water enters into the cell and stored in the vacuole, as plant cell has a big vacuole. And torture pressure inside the cell increases, makes the cell turgid. This plasma membrane can expand only to the limit of the cell wall. So in the case of plant cell, the cell won't lice or burst because of the presence of this rigid cell wall. So the cell remains turgid or normal. This is due to endosmosis or entry of water into the cell from the outside hypertonic solution. So the conclusion is the best environment suited for plant cells is the hypertonic environment. That is why watering a wilted plant makes the leaf of the plant turgid or firm. Because of the presence of a tough cell wall in plant cell, hypertonic environment is the best environment for a plant cell as the cell remains turgid and firm. Whereas isotonic environment is a preferred environment for an animal cell. Hope you are clear. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologicsense for you.com.